guys D about to react to this video. This is Lil John reacts to new Atlanta rappers. Young Nudie, Lil Key, Zach Fox. I don't know who the hell these people are. I've never heard them in my life. But uh they must be up and coming on the Atlanta scene. I'm sure Atlanta, they rock with them heavy, I'm sure. Um, so we're about to see what, what Lil John gotta say about them. Cause Lil John is a legend. He is an Atlanta legend, alright? So let's see what he gotta say about them. What up, it's Lil John? And right now I'm about to see which one of these Atlanta rappers gets my co-sign. The number one thing people have to understand about Atlanta is King a crook. We don't make records for no fucking body else but Atlanta. We barbecue, <laughs> you know, year round. We love our fried chicken and our, you know, uh, lemon pepper wings. It's just our the culture of our city. That's just how we That's are. Dope. We just we just make five records for for the town and it just blow up everywhere else. <laughs> I think the song is cool. Uh, and like I said, I like his flow, I like his style. I was an AR guy, so I can I can see the talent. I can see that he just getting started. He's gonna get better and better and better because mm. he, he had a nice flow. He had a catchy flow. Really, really catchy flow. Like, cause he was like, da 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 da, da 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 da. That's, that's an extra hook. He has the chorus, but that's an extra thing that catches you. It sticks in your head. So that's why I think like, yeah, okay, he's he's good. Yes. No female rappers, and now we got a shitload of female rappers. I love it. Video. Never heard of her. I, I like the fact that she's 19, only 19 and she's a jealous ass bitch. I saw her on YouTube. <laughs> then just seeing one video, I don't know what her thing is. Like, Megan Thee Stallion is sexy and she rap, you know, she can rap her ass on, but she also got her sex appeal thing that's kind of her edge. So like, I want to see what, what Kaluminati's thing is. Like, what is her... Where where's she trying to You ain't saying about her. young Anything. whatever Cody or whatever his name was. I think I've seen this one. Oh, so that means they're gonna have a wild ass party? Okay. They actually twerking though. Like, they twerking like a motherfucker. What the fuck? Who knows, man? In hip hop now, anything can fucking happen. And it don't matter what you look like, where you from, your ethnicity, is it? People just want a hit record. If it's a hit record, they don't give a fuck. They're decent. I don't that know. About this one. I don't think this one is the one though. <laughs> oh, they could no, potentially no, no. come out of nowhere and fucking have a smash. Oh, wow. Wow. Jason made another one. I got you got a couple of places. Remind me of like a young thug. Not just because of the hair, but she know. She don't remind me of young thug. Maybe he's talking about his flow, I guess. In all of these young kids, I just see growing. I see the future. Like, I remember when Thug came out, and to see Thug, where he started to where he is now, he grew so much as an artist. He, he probably knew Key from when he was, a, you know, a little jit. He probably knew when he was young, and he probably just seen him around, and hanging. he probably was hanging around, and, you know, probably tried to freestyle with him, you know what I mean? And just seen him grow, and was like, I'm gonna put the little homie, I'm gonna give him a chance. That's a great thing about what we can do as black men, we can give someone a chance and potentially a career. Him growing up in the same apartments and then end up being signed to him is, is great. I remember when I was coming up, I, I'd go hang out with Jermaine, TLC would be over here, Outkast is over here, Goody Mom right here, 
you know, Dungeon Plan family got a, a show. We're going to go over there and mess with them. You know, we just, everybody just fuck with everybody. And everybody's happy to see each other succeed. Riding in a coat, then I bought a monkey. Hey, hey, I want to ask this chunky. <laughs> Goddamn, what I'm going to do with this monkey? I like the way they're having fun at the beginning of the video. We got to yeah. get back to having fun and rap again. People ain't having, they, people too cool. Stop trying to be hard and be too goddamn cool. Shit bag and fuck Bagging. face. <laughs> Shit bag and fuck face. I love that. Oh, oh, yes. Square oh, niggas throw that chair up in New York. I really run. It's just hilarious. It's the energy of the youth. We love this slow, hard beat, aggressive vocal. Turn up shit. I can see the whole crowd just bouncing. Comedy is everything now. That's what's going to make you go viral. Every television commercial is comedic. That's what people want to see. The world is so fucked up. People don't want to be laugh. serious all the time. We need That's to true. laugh. We That's need true. to escape. Like, looking at this takes you somewhere else. And then it'll help you forget about the bullshit going on in your life. Because it's a nice story. And it's, it makes you laugh. We need to laugh. We need to be more happier th these days. So this is awesome. <laughs> Actually, overall, all of the artists... All of them, I think, have talent. Even the Tiny Twins, I think they got talent too. Everybody is rapping pretty good. Nobody was trash to me. All right, after watching all these videos, the rapper that gets my co-sign is Zach Fox and Kenny Beats, because oh. I like the hook, square up. Everybody know what the fuck square up mean. It's a good hook, it's a turn up hook. Turn up beat, and comedic as fuck video. This video is funny as shit. Everything was pretty standard, the videos, except for like Zach Fox. They're out of, they thinking out of the box and they being different. And they actually sat down and really came up with some really good skits in their videos. I agree videos, for the creativity. Good storyline. But everything else is like, uh, oh, we're in the trap. Uh, oh, we're at the gas station. Uh, oh, we're in the mansion. You know, that's normal shit. But these guys, normal it really stood out to me. <laughs> sure, he means for rappers, I guess. Um, I feel like he was a little biased when it came to the women, you know, I may be wrong, I don't know. But when the chick came on, he was like, oh, I gotta see more of her, I don't know what her style is. Nigga, you don't know what none of these people's style is, you only saw one video <laughs> and heard one song from each of these people. I mean, I assume that's the whole point of, you know, this series. But he like, oh, I gotta hear more, I don't know what her style is, I don't know, I don't know. Just like... And it, that's the same chick from, um, she had like a lot of rap compilations. I actually reacted to one of them on YouTube before and she's pretty dope. Her, her lyrical capabilities are pretty nice. So I was just like, I don't know why he said that, but whatever little John, what, whatever King of Crack, sure. Um, but yeah, it's a cool video, cool little, uh, Atlanta rappers. I would have to definitely hear more from them. Uh, them uh, little people girls, they just they just threw me off. I wasn't trying to be shady with my expressions, y'all know. Like my expressions can be a bit shady at times. I'm not trying to judge them just because they're little people, but they they threw me off. All right, <laughs> they threw me off a little bit. But let me know what y'all thought about this video. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.